going on YouTube? Um, it is Patch Wednesday for uh, Epic Seven. Um, there's a new character, some new artifacts, and there's going to be some changes to PvP. So uh, let's take a look and see what we're looking at. So first up is the new character, Thermia. Um, she looks pretty cool. I love her design. Um, she is a fire warrior. So definitely uh, need one of those, especially me. I need another one. Um, her skills definitely seem pretty cool too. Um, she gets a 50% defense penetration, and she also gets a greater attack buff for her S2. She also gets the uh, unhillable for one turn as well. Um, also with her S2, she can she resets her cooldown for her S3. So it seems like she can do S2, I mean S3, S2, and then S3. Um, so that's pretty cool. I like that. Her effects okay. Um, increase attack. On the next turn by 7.5 percent using a non-attack skill um it can max out at 15 percent we're also going to get the next artifact that is um from the next challenge event i think we get to fight charles in this one i believe this one seems really good um and i'm gonna tell you why in just a second but it increases damage suffered by the caster from elite or boss monsters by 15 percent when this effect is granted more than once only the stronger one is applied it maxes out at 30 percent so what this could potentially do is for people who are struggling in uh, Wyvern, or specifically Wyvern 11, because you know that's the one where it hits the uh, tank spot three times, no matter what, um, this will probably give you that little bit of extra defense that you guys need to like um, get past that. Um, so probably, you know, people who probably can't one Riven, you get this artifact, you could definitely probably run Wyvern 11. Um, so that's definitely a good artifact. That could be used for some PvE content. Um, yeah, just saying her drop rate is going to be up. She's going to be in there. So this is also the new event, the new side story, all or nothing. Um, <clears throat> probably going to be the same thing as last time, obviously. It's going to have the, um, the new format where it's like two levels that you can like, you know, do the higher stages on. Um, there's the lock quest. Which was in other events before where like you can't get past certain points until you get a certain amount of tokens. I knew there. So the rewards we're looking at this time are some Blazing Souls, Ultra Fangs, and Twisted Fangs. I know there's a lot of, a couple of dark units for sure that I'm working on that can definitely use some Blazing Souls, Ultra Fangs. So I would definitely take those. And the rest of your rewards are pretty standard. You know, your runes, your bookmarks, penguin, artifacts and gold and whatnot. Um, and then of course your repetition rewards. Pretty standard stuff there. Um, yeah, this is the event right here, the challenge, the uh, Charles challenge. So we're going to be able to fight Charles, it seems like, in this one. Um, seems pretty cool. Um, and this is going to get you that uh, new artifact that will uh, help out with some PvE content. I don't know. You get to fight? Yeah, you do fight Charles. Okay, yeah, he's right there. So yeah, that'll be pretty cool. Um, and then just telling you the drop rate right there. So normal, L, and then epic hell. I... I don't think this one that we're doing now actually has an epic hell. Um, so 50% epic hell. That uh, sounds really good. If you want to just really, you know, if you got the, uh, the gear for your units to like really uh, go into that one. Go and get that uh, hard maxed out really fast. And then the uh, repetition rewards for uh, going into that are right there for you. Um, Let's see. Oh yeah, so they're just letting us know. A uh, reminder. I'm glad they did this change too. Where they're now letting us know um, when the uh, shop will be refreshed. You can see a little timer down there. So we still got another week. So if you haven't got the uh, artifacts that you wanted, um, you still got a little bit of time, an extra week. Um, I personally would like to wait to the last minute because, uh, you know, if I happen to pull the artifact before it, then I wouldn't waste my, uh, I wouldn't waste my uh, currency on that. I'll uh, get something else or wait for something when the uh, refresh happens. Yeah, that's pretty much it for her. There's a couple UI changes and miscellaneous changes around there, some typos and stuff. But the next big thing that's actually happening is actually right here. So this is the uh, March developer notes, and it's really talking about the start of like PvP uh, season two, the arena, and uh, how the how they're trying to uh, go about this. So, for example, it's going to be first of that. I believe they were saying it's going to be a new currency. So if you're saving up your uh, points, uh, they're not really going to be used. So you should definitely probably use them. 
they got a lot of cool UI design stuff. So you can see your victories. You can see your defense victories now, which, you know, if you didn't go into like the like records, you can't really tell if you won defense or really not. This league gives you like a better understanding of what's going on and how well you're actually doing. You know, if you're trying to um, go up the ladder in the uh, rankings for PvP Arena. And there's some interesting tidbits here that a lot of people have been catching on um, that may show some things of the future for this game. Um, one, This one, I don't know. I think all the developers just have 300 energy, but 300 energy for max, is, I haven't seen that. Maybe I haven't been looking, but uh, someone did bring that to my attention. Um, and then we have a new character here. I don't know if you guys can quite see this, but this character right here, you could tell, definitely tell it's supposed to be like somewhat of a sneak peek of like what's to come. Because like they could have easily just put Judge Kise there. Because you know, they have C Dom here, Harado there. Could have easily just put Judge Kise right there. But they deliberately put this unit right there. Um, There's a lot of speculation on who this unit may be. No one knows for sure, really. But uh, I definitely want that unit. <laughs> Pretty cute. Um, and then the one of the biggest things everyone's talking about is hero rebalancing. So they're basically saying that, um, you know, regards to PvP, there are some team compositions that are like overly used and some units that um, seem like a bit overpowered in the meta with no like countermeasures. So they want to address that. And um, yeah, so this could be some really big changes, guys. I mean, we may be seeing almost see the death of some characters, but like, you know, some toning down of some characters that are obviously really good in PvP. Um, the big question is, are they really going to do it to, like, it's, a lot of people are expecting, like, in, like, uh, you know, you see Cleary a lot, you see Deanne a lot, but are they really going to, like, um, you know, nerf a limited unit that may, you know, rally the cries of many people? So, we'll definitely see the direction they take. I'm very interested in that, you know. I'm personally very big in, uh, circle of life changes where, or quality of life changes where, like, you know, they change the meta up by uh, nerfing and buffing characters to, you know so they could get some different characters in spotlight different strategic values with different team compositions and stuff you know just to mix it up uh, it's always very interesting in a game like that and Morgala improvements this is always nice so they're basically saying um they know that you know Morgala is a hard to find right now and they're going to make adjust adjustments in the future to like make it easier to get more goals the catalyst uh the callus improvements is really cool too um so there's going to be a shop that we can do now. The shop is uh, going to give you like these points, these but it's contribution points for like basically when you're farming your like world maps. And if you aren't getting the catalyst you want, you can exchange this for like catalyst or other things. Right here, you can see all the things we can do. So you can't see all the way down the list, but I'm pretty sure there's going to be even more things. So definitely seems good. I'm glad there's going to be some type of reward, period, just for like farming. Um, no, because it, it really is uh demotivating when you're farming a world for so long and you don't see a single drop of the catalyst that you're looking for you're just like all your energy is gone <laughs> and you haven't got anything really to show for it except for like you know your fodder level at least you're getting some uh you know six star units hopefully but yeah so that's that change um so yeah that's that's pretty much it um oh there was one more this right here somebody brought this to my attention i totally forgot um so this is very interesting if you look inside this picture, it looks like there is a different formation of the team. Normally, it's like a little diamond shape. You know, you have your front, your front, your back, and then your two sides. But it's actually in like this triangle like type of shape. Like there's like, you, you know, they're all like linear in this direction rather than like the Ross being over here. Um, So people are wondering, is going to be a different type of formations? And are the different formations actually going to do anything different? Much well, like how the front unit... Um, you know, is it going to be target more? Is there going to be any benefits to the formation of this? If anything, um, we really have no idea what to speculate on this, really. Um, it's just definitely interesting to see that there is, indeed, it looks like a different formation. That's all we can really speculate on it at the moment. Um, so yeah, just some, some things to think about. Yeah, this, this right there, the new character. Like I said, I don't know if the energy thing is something that's always... Um, something that's always there, but I just personally uh, just noticed it this time and someone brought it to my attention um, So yeah, something interesting as well. 
But yeah, guys, that's all for this one. I just wanted to talk to you guys about the new update real quick. Um, there was a lot of things going on, uh, and the update will be coming out today, uh, later today. Um, you know, as always, when the uh, update happens. Um, so yeah, guys, that's all for this one. Uh, if you like what you see, if you want to see more of these videos, uh, subscribe and like the video. Greatly appreciate it. And I'll uh, see you guys next time. Peace.